Hello everyone, this is EB the Sponge Reviewer here, and um, today I am back with another discussion video for you guys, and this is going to be on a topic that I actually um, had a while of thinking about making, and that is giving you guys my overall inputs regarding to the future for the SpongeBob SquarePants franchise and many people's approach towards it. So, um, as you guys may have noticed that um, Nickelodeon and Paramount had actually greenlit that they were actually going to be working on um, some new Spongebob movies for Paramount+, Plus, plus a theatrical movie coming out in the future. And um, lots of people are really excited about this, and others um, continue um, to use this, the same old excuses, talking about oh, they're just milking the franchise at this point, and freaking Steven Hillenburg is rolling in his grave. You know, those same insults over and over again. Well, I wouldn't say insults. I mean, I would probably say, like, criticisms and whatnot. And I want to give you guys my overall take on this about the future of SpongeBob. Now, um, SpongeBob SquarePants, um, around the late two th oh, sorry, the late 90s and the early 2000s, is one of Nickelodeon's most popular series. It, it, yeah, it's, it's one of their most iconic franchise. It blew up into popularity during the, in the 2000s era. And because of its popularity, um, they decided to greenlit a fourth season, even though that Steven Hillenburg was pretty much done with the series after the release of the first movie. And he had no involvement with SpongeBob up until he came back to write um, Sponge Out of Water in 2015 which was his triumphal comeback, and he was credited as executive producer um, throughout um, the 2010s decade up until his passing in 2018. And because of SpongeBob's popularity, I can kind of see the reason why that Nickelodeon wants to continue the, the franchise. And in my own personal opinions on this take, I really don't have an issue with the current progress of Spongebob. I think Spongebob Squarepants as a series right now is doing pretty good. I think that the, I, I really do think the show is throwing out unique ideas while others still think that the show is still bad because, oh, this isn't, it, because they don't think it's like the first three seasons and because the, the show had a seasonal rot at, during season six and seven, they still think that the show is bad to this day, even though that the episodes have improved more and more. And if I want to be totally honest, I'm actually am pretty glad that SpongeBob SquarePants is continuing nowadays. It's because that now that we're past through that seasonal rot, I think the show had came up with really unique ideas and the, the show is still doing pretty strong. Like I've said in my previous videos that the show is, is, is doing really well. Like we have ideas like Goofy Scoopers which has SpongeBob and Patrick um, reuniting a robot band for Goofy Goobers, which is a really unique idea for the show. Then you got Feral Friends, which is an episode about um, the characters in SpongeBob turning into their feral states, which is another really crazy idea that's unheard of for the show. And I don't see SpongeBob SquarePants ending any any soon. Any ending anytime soon is because that, like I've said, it's it's. Nickelodeon's most popular series, and I still think that they want to continue the legacy after the death of Steven Hillenburg, because think about it, there's actually a lot of shows out there that continues the legacy after their creator's deaths, because that's how they want to do. They want to continue the legacy of SpongeBob, and I think Nickelodeon is doing the right thing, I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm probably, I'm not talking about this in a corporate way. I'm just giving you guys my overall intakes of this is because that I don't really talk corporate into my videos is because that I don't dig really deep into the subject matter it's because that's not what my goal is. My goal is to give you guys my overall opinions on this given topic and this take. And I, I, I still think that people should just, just tone down with the whole um, milking the series aspect is because that I understand that you guys do not like the current state of SpongeBob, but you have to understand that this is a corporation at the end of the day. And if Nickelodeon 
see SpongeBob as this big icon. They want to continue to support the show because that's usually how it is. Look at Super Mario, for example. Super Mario is a very popular franchise. You don't see people saying that they're milking the franchise because it's back because of its popularity. And because I'm sorry, I just think that's just a really dumb statement in my opinion, just because a series that has been going on for, for long periods of time is continuing because of its popularity, just because that you don't like the current take of the show. Like nobody's making you watch SpongeBob. Nobody's making you watch these shows. So why should it matter to you that, that, that the series is still continuing? Even if you stopped watching the show all these years later, that's, I mean, I'm just saying that because it, it just kind of makes the most sense. Like let people enjoy these things and, and, and don't be a, such a party pooper about it because you don't like the current direction that the show is going. Because in my opinion, I was at a, at a, I was at a point where I really didn't really appreciate um, a lot of the newer stuff for SpongeBob. In fact, in around 2016, I would often bash on the new episodes for no reason because I probably didn't give them a, a chance or whatnot, or that was probably at a time where I wasn't watching SpongeBob all that much. But that all changed in 2017 when I sat down and watched Goodbye Krabby Patty, and that's when my opinions of the show changed, and now I actually really enjoy the newer stuff, even though it's been a long time since I went back and saw any of the seasonal rot episodes, like seasons 5 and 6 and whatnot, and 7, if you include season 7. It's been a while since I've seen those episodes, and as a matter of fact, I may have not remembered seeing those episodes when I was when I was like in middle school or whatnot. I may have remembered seeing them, but my memory is very fogged up. But all I'm here to say is, is that I think SpongeBob's future is going to be a good one. It's because that we have the spinoff shows like the Patrick Star show, which in my opinion is a really good spinoff, is because it tries to be its own thing. Because I'm telling you guys right now that the Patrick Star show does not feel like the original SpongeBob series at all. It's because that it doesn't really utilize all the main characters all that much. In fact, they're, they only appear like in a few episodes and that's it. They're not the major focus of the show, like Camp Coral, for example. Now, Camp Coral, in my opinion, this feels like a watered down version of the original series because it has the same main characters as kids. It's taking place at a summer camp and the, the humor is kind of similar to the original SpongeBob series. While at least on the Patrick Star show's front, they actually try to be a, a unique series and try to do something different by adding unique animation styles. They don't focus on the main characters from the original series all that much. It's, it's mainly about Patrick and his family, which is really good. So I don't know where people are getting the, oh, the Patrick Star show feels like the original series aspects from, because I really don't see that at all. I don't see the Patrick Star show like the SpongeBob series, the original series. All right. So that's all I have to say with this video. I, I think SpongeBob's future is is going to be a pretty good one. I, I'm I'm happy that that the, the showrunner still wants to continue the legacy that SpongeBob had throughout the years, and you just have to ex you're just going to have to accept the fact that because this company sees this franchise as a big um, popularity of some sorts, they're going to try all their best to continue that legacy and to continue that popularity. So the people who still enjoys the newer stuff will, will be invested. And if you don't like the current state of SpongeBob and you just don't really like the, the, the newer episodes and whatnot, then all I can say is that just ignore what's appearing on the news and just probably just find something else to watch or something because you don't have to watch these newer episodes if you don't like the current progress of SpongeBob. Just let the others who are invested into watching these newer episodes stay hyped and more optimistic. So I'm done here. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time with more videos, I guess. So goodbye everyone.